guys, today we're going to be doing a video that I'm super excited to film, and that is the Swinter Readathon announcement video. So I created this readathon, and it's kind of confusing, so let's just jump right into it. So basically, Swinter is summer and winter combined. So if it's winter in the country that you live in, then you're going to be reading summertime books during this readathon. And if it's summer in the country that you live in currently, um, then you're going to be reading wintertime books during this readathon. This readathon lasts a week, but before I tell you what days and all the extra stuff, let me just tell you that if you guys don't know what like wintertime or summertime books are, or like if you need some like recommendations, don't worry because I will be uploading recommendation videos for both wintertime books and summertime books. I'll be reading summertime books for this readathon because I live in Canada where heck it is winter if this is the definition of winter it's so cold but basically yeah i'll be doing i'll be reading summertime books but i'll be recommending books for both winter and summer so now that you've gotten maybe a better grasp on it i'll tell you the dates and all the extra video challenges and book challenges that you can take part of or if you don't want to do that then you can just do this readathon but i would really like if you guys like Join the readathon on Goodreads. I'll leave a link to the group down below. I just think it'd be fun to hear what you guys are reading and to just talk to you guys on Goodreads. Be my friend. It'll be a grand old time and we'll make some new bookish friends. So first of all, this readathon takes place from March 16th to March 23rd. So March 16th is a Monday, so it takes place from one Monday to the next Monday. That's also the week that's my March break. I planned it like that so I'd have time to upload update videos every day. I'm planning to upload update videos every day. I'm not sure if I can do it every day because I might be going to sleepovers and stuff like that, but I'll definitely be doing like maybe like uh, an update for like each two days or maybe like a mid point update I'm not sure hopefully I'll be able to do a daily update probably not but I you know I'm gonna try to do that because I'd really like to do that oh and by the way if Swinter sounds familiar it's because it's from that Phineas and Ferb episode when they build a um, ski mountain in their backyard and they call it Swinter so yes that's this wasn't inspired by that I just thought of the connection afterwards and I was like ah! Yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, so before I get into the book and video challenges, I'll just tell you that I will also be uploading a TBR, a wrap-up video, and I will be doing these book and video challenges because if I don't do them, I feel like I'm kind of a fraud because I created them and I'd be a hypocrite. So, yes, but first let's go into the book challenges. So these are the book challenges if you live in a country where it's winter right now and you will be reading summertime books during this readathon. And also, guys, if you live in a country where it's summer right now and you just feel like reading summer books, do it. And just join the readathon and just, you know, pretend you live in a country where it's winter or just don't. Just talk to us about the books you're reading because it's still fun and you can still participate in this. So don't think that you have to follow the guidelines. It's really loose. It's just really fun, really chilled out thing. Book challenges for people who plan to read summertime books. 1. Read a book with the word summer in the title. 2. Read a book with a summer romance. 3. Read an author's debut novel that is still a summertime novel. 4. Read three books, one per challenge. These are the book challenges if you're planning to read wintertime books. 1. Read a book with winter, the word in the title. 2. Read a book that has a dark theme slash plot. 3. Read an author's debut novel that is still a wintertime novel. And 4. Read three books, one per challenge. Now it's time to head on to the video challenges. So number 1 is upload a TBR video. Two is cosplay a scene from a summer or winter book that you've read and uploaded on YouTube. There's also a section for you to leave links on the Goodreads page because I'd love to see your guys, your videos, so yeah. And then three is do a book review on at least one book that you read during the readathon. And four is upload a wrap-up video. So yeah, if you guys want like the details written out, because it's probably easier to understand, the links will be down below. So I'm really excited for this readathon. I would love it so much if you guys joined. I just think it'd be so much fun. So please join. I mean, if you don't want to, obviously you don't have to. Or if you're busy, I get it. But I just think it'd be really fun, especially if it's March break where you live, because then you can like participate actively. But I just love it if you guys join. So please do and just yeah, I'm not pushing you to do it, but still, I just love to see you guys joining and we can talk about books together. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!